up, pull up, pull up, pull up. Oh, oh. Woo! Look at that. Look, 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 look at that, you guys. That albino clown knife is tearing that apart. Oh my god. Bro, insane. Dolphin fish literally go. Oh my, he's gonna get eaten. All right, you guys, welcome back to Blake's Exotic Anim Ranch. You guys saw in one of the last videos, we got that brand new stingray that is right here. His name is Scarface. And you guys saw at the end of the video that we left you guys hanging. And we left you guys hanging because what happened was we had three dolphin fish here inside of this 300 gallon tank. And my platinum red tail, unfortunately, I think what happened was he ate one of the dolphin fish, you guys. Literally, he ate one of the dolphin fish. Look at his stomach right now, you guys. It is absolutely insanely huge and big. And as you see now, we're probably gonna have to take out that dolphin fish. Look, 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 there he goes again. Look at him. He is getting so big. The dolphin fish literally go, oh my, he's gonna get eaten. The dolphin fish goes underneath him and like, almost like it was like, yo, buddy, come out, come out. Like, I think he's seen his buddy get eaten. So obviously that's not um, the best thing. And that dolphin fish is staying the same size. He hasn't grown. That was the most healthiest one out of the three. One passed away. I saw it flow up and it died. I have no idea why. And then the second one definitely got eaten because there was nobody left. There was nothing here. And then when I came to come check on it, the platinum red tail had a giant stomach. And obviously, red tail catfish, you guys know, they're predatory fish. They get very, very large. And even though he might be white and he's not black and red, he's still going to do the same exact thing as a black and red one would do. So, um, yeah, unfortunately, we only have one dolphin fish left. So what I think I'm going to do, I'm going to call Zach, Joey, Franklin, Paul, one of them, and see if they have another tank that they can take this dolphin fish for me until I get my building. The building's coming very soon. And then we have another tank to put the dolphin fish inside of and have them by himself in one tank. I was reading up on them, and I think they're more of a fish that likes to live by themselves. They're not really schooling fish at all. They bully each other a lot, so that's probably what happened. He was the bully, and he beat up the other two, and the one got weak and the platinum red tail swallowed him whole. And yeah, that's not good. And here's a little update of my beautiful scarfish right there, stingray black diamond, he is beautiful. We have my other black diamond stingray right here eating up some fish that we had there for him. And my three albino arowanas doing great, right up top. I have a little bit of pellets right here, and these pellets are just a carnivore pellet diet. And these pellets, I like to throw them inside of here, and it helps them uh, make a very, very bright coloring on their body. So it's pretty awesome. Look at that. The big old gut that one has right there. That is great. But, um, so now we're not going to need these tubings, these balls, all these things inside of here because the dolphin fish most likely is going to be leaving this 300 gallon tank because the fish in here are becoming very, very aggressive. And for this dolphin fish, that dolphin fish is not, uh, strong enough to stay inside of this 300 gallon tank. So that sucks. That, I, that's not that fun, but it's the part of having predatory fish, I guess. So we're gonna have to find another tank and figure that out. But we have a bunch of fish right here that we have to get rid of. And we fed the stingrays. The stingrays are full now. Everyone is happy. Platinum doesn't need to get fed because obviously he ate the dolphin fish, so he's happy and full, unfortunately. But um, now we're gonna have to go outside and feed the wells catfish, and then we're gonna go into the patio and feed all the fish inside the pool pond. So let's go start with the wells first. All right, before we get to this pond over here, guys, this pond is still in the works of getting better and brighter and cleaner and clearer. This pond is still a little green and it's getting me upset. We're gonna have to figure it out and get it back to normal. But for today's post notification, shout out is going to Holly, she says, great videos, always awesome content, and I love you guys. I appreciate it, Holly. If you guys want to get a positive comment, shout out. Make sure you put a positive comment down below in the comments to get shouted out on Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch. And if you guys are not subscribed to Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch, make sure you guys do that because, like I've said before, every day is different here on the ranch. And last thing, put those post notifications on because why would you want to miss a beautiful fish feeding here on the ranch, you guys? But um, let's feed this Wells catfish real quick and my black Menalistic guard. Two giant fish. Once the well smells it in the water, this dirty green water. Here he comes right now. Here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him, you guys. Bam. That well is getting nasty, you guys. And we have a little bit of koi food. Let me throw some koi food down. Maybe they'll come up. Slam it a little harder. Maybe not. I don't know. Maybe they don't want to come up. But the wells will come up again because he is a monster. He is right here. Oh my god. I didn't even see him grab it. 
thing's freaking insane. He eats so much fish now, it's absolutely wild. Black guard's right over there. We're gonna go feed him in a second. Come on, Mr. Wells. Come on, don't eat my hand. I can't see you now. I'm kinda scared. Alright, I'm gonna here he comes right now. Here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. We're running on the top of the water. Look, 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 right here. See him, you guys? See him? You guys can see him with no problem. Ah. Oh. One more time. Oh, the koi are coming up. You guys look how gorgeous they look. Even though the water's green, but the oh 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 here it comes, here it comes, here it comes, here it comes. There he goes, awesome. So we got this last giant fish right here. We got a bunch more fish. But we're gonna go over here to this black gar and get a nice clear shot of this black gar eating right out of my hands. And we're gonna go inside to the patio and go feed all of the predatory fish we have inside of that mini pool pond. Alright, look at this closely right here with this gar, you guys. Oh, oh. Woo! Look at that. Guard took it with no problem. He is a predator. That was pretty awesome, pretty cool. Try to give him one more piece, and then these guys get fed almost every other day without any problems. They eat a lot. Maybe that's the reason why the water is so green. And then plus, this beautiful sunshine weather just cooks this pond up. Maybe we'll put more like little trees around or something for more shade so there's not so much sun here on this pond. It won't cook it up as much. The water is perfect temperature. It's not hot at all. That flow, that beautiful pond flow right there, makes this water nice and cool without a problem. It just gets green, I just, I don't know. I'm gonna have to figure some more things out and get this going and fixing it up. But uh, let's try to give him one more fish. Come here, buddy. Here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. Here he comes, he knows, good Come on, come on, come on. Oof, look at that, right by the head. Heck yeah. You guys can see that, right? I think so. Oh, yeah. yeah? Oh, yeah. Perfect. Just making sure. I got a little bit more koi food, and the koi are going to come up too now. Watch this. Ready? There they come. They heard those pellets come out. Look how gorgeous they are, you guys. The platinum, the scaleless ones. Beautiful, beautiful. That koi aqua right there. Heck yeah. Got one more for this guy. Heck yeah. Awesome. Beautiful quick little fish feeding here inside of this pond the 350 gallon tank and now into the patio small pond that's over there let's go do it all right boys and girls ladies and gentlemen it is time for you guys to see my amazing peacock bass eat right out of my hand you've guys probably seen it before if you guys are an original ranch fam people and if you guys are make sure you guys can put ranch fam down in the comments right now if you guys have been spamming the comments like crazy it's absolutely amazing and we've been passing 5,000 likes every single video without a doubt now 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 i think we have the chance and the opportunity with the almost 350,000 subscribers we have I think we could break 10,000 likes almost every single time without a problem. I think we could do it. Ranch Fam is very, very strong, and it's only going to keep on growing if you guys keep on subscribing to Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch because I've said it before, and I'm going to say it again. It never ends here, you guys, and it's so fun here, and it's so crazy, and I love to show everything through these lens right here. But um, stop that little bit of talking and all that, and I got a peacock that wants to jump out of the water and go through a loop soon. All right. Oh, my God. Bro, insane, insane. I cannot wait, cannot wait until we have the building and we have a giant viewing panel of a pond to see these peacocks eat out of my hands. It's gonna be absolutely amazing. We have four peacock bass in here and they absolutely tear up fish. Ready? Come on, buddy. Okay. Bam, right there. Oh, there you go, Oscar, nice and soft. We have a dad noit in here as well that loves to eat out of my hands very, very well too. Not sure where he's at at this moment, but once he knows there's fish in here, he will come up and say hi. But I'm um, here. I came and I came and talk. Man, I can't talk again. It's instant every time. There he goes again. It's crazy. It's so freaking cool. And I don't know if I said it before, but inside of here we have um, the dad noit. We have five sturgeons. We have an albino Oscar. We have iridescent sharks, and we have a few other amazing fish in here as well. Well, not really, because I just said all the names. I'm a dummy. But um, yeah, that's what we have in here. They get a pelleted diet as well, and they also get these frozen fish that are defrosted, and they love them. Right over there, we have a gooch catfish and two clown knives that are about to feed in just a sec. Let me get up. Oh, 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 gone. Perfect, beautiful, amazing. So let's come over here, you guys, and break up a couple pieces of fish 
and feed it to these guys. So I'm just gonna break them in half and drop them in. The clowns are hungry. I'll tell you that right now. They are hungry. Ready? Ready? There they go. There they go. There they go. Douche. Ate him up. So look, 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 look at that, you guys. That albino clown knife is tearing that apart. And then, as well, we have this gooch catfish, and he has a fish in his mouth, too. That thing is a straight predator and absolutely devours these frozen fish. We have a couple more fish right here, and I think with these, I'm just gonna throw them in here, and the peacocks will just eat them up. Maybe not. Oh, yeah, there they go. So, a couple more. Perfect, awesome. And then the last little bits and pieces of fish here, we're just gonna go put them with my albino rider sliders over there. They're doing absolutely great as well. Everyone's doing amazing. I mean, I can't complain, you guys. Oh. Skirt! You guys didn't see that. That's disgusting. That was all nasty fish water that just got splatted all over the floor. Wow, that's, that's a bummer. That's a big bummer. All right, so these I'm just gonna go put over there, but um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video here on Blake's Exotic Anim Ranch. Make sure you guys put those post notifications on. I've already said it plenty of times today, but I will see you guys in the upcoming video. Building's coming soon, and I will see you guys later. Peace out, everybody. Woo!